Paparazzi under pressure, Queen demands holiday privacy. Peace agreed for Chechnya, both sides say the war is over. And Newcastle frown, the big spenders lose out to Everton. This is Sky World News with James Bellini. The Queen and members of the royal family have begun their holiday at Balmoral with warnings to four photographers to stay away. Only one has responded to the royal command and the palace won't say whether it's been accepted or challenged. Some newspaper editors are worried the move might lead to a privacy law by the back door. This presentation, today's presentation, will be transmitted simultaneously to the cities of Bariloche, Cordoba, Marta Plata, Mendoza, Santa Fe and Rosario. Dr. James Bellini got his master's degree in law and history in Cambridge and his PhD in the London School of Economics. Gracias, Ricardo. And gracias por haberme invitado en Buenos Aires. Espero que me disculpen por no poder hablar. Claramente en castellano con ustedes, uh, seguidamente hablaré con ustedes en inglés. So let me start, if you like, at the beginning, which is, where are we now, and how are things changing dramatically? What people think about you? These are now increasingly the main central assets of success. Let me explain. For the past 20 years, for the past 20 years, management science has been all about changing the physical assets of the company, has it not? Cutting out costs, downsizing, outsourcing, changing the cost chain, if you like, the value chain, the physical aspects of production. Welcome back to Business Sunday with me, James Bellini. On Thursday, the Cabinet meets to set spending targets for the next financial year. The meeting follows the Chancellor's admission in his summer statement that growth is going to be lower than it forecast, while government borrowing is going to be much higher. Let's come to you first, Ruth. In fact, we'll, I'll put this to all of you. 50% slippage, more or less, in government borrowing. Are we worried? I think we should be. And I think, it, well, the first thing, of course, it does mean that forecasting is a particularly dodgy art. There are all sorts of problems with it. Jerry Lyons, it's not the boffins, is it? Is it the Chancellor that's got his policies wrong rather than the numbers? Well, the Chancellor was blaming everyone last week. I thought it was quite remarkable that he criticised the Bank of England. So, Peter, I'll come to you now on this. What's in the system currently to deal with something like this? Uh, uh, has that got, is there a memory system, so to speak? This has been recorded somehow? When we talk about root cause, we don't mean one cause. We mean what are the main causes that led to Amanda's father dying? Maybe I can put this to all of you. Is there not a big risk, though, of giving so much information to patients and carers that you scare them off the treatment? I mean, that is the big risk of, of the agency's existence, after all, is it not? More information, big problem. Press it back. I think if you explain to a patient honestly and carefully and you repeat that explanation, I don't think you should necessarily start these drugs in immediately. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Sunday, this Sunday, the 4th of August. I'm James Bellini and I'm sitting in for Adam Bolton for some special programmes this month. Over the next four weeks, we'll be looking at big issues that could change our lives in the coming years and the ethical and political choices they uh, pose for us. In future programmes, we'll be discussing the global water crisis, the colossal financial ramifications of our ageing population and whether cash will disappear as we all resort more to plastic. This week, Xenotransplants, a term that may not mean much, yet, it's the practice of using organs from animals to replace defective parts in humans. 
You can do magic You can have